Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now in honor of the Diwali season, I thought I would share with you guys on how to properly light a dia. Now if you guys don't know what a dia is, this is a dia. And it's basically an earthen lamp, it's usually made out of clay. And it's filled with some type of oil, and then a wick is put in, and then it's lit. These are the little lamps that are usually lit during the Diwali season. And it says that these lamps will attract Mother Lakshmi and bring her into your home. So this way she can bless your home and bring prosperity to you and your family. So I'm going to show you guys how to light one of these bad boys today. I hope you guys enjoy. So the items that you're going to need to light your dia, or of course a dia, or one of these earthen lamps, you're also going to need a wick, and you're also going to need some type of oil. Today I'm going to use coconut oil to fill my dia, but if you wanted you could use ghee, you could use vegetable oil, you could use any type of real cooking oil to be honest. My grandmother said cooking oil works as well. So I'm going to go ahead and into my dia, you want to make sure to put your wick down and leave a little bit of the wick hanging out. That part of the wick is what's going to be lit. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of our coconut oil or any type of oil that you're using. And my coconut oil did get a little hard overnight, so that's why it looks like this, but it will melt. It's almost like a candle. It will melt once um, you light the dia. Once you have your dia about three quarters of the way full with your oil, then what you're going to want to do is take your finger and just dab it a little bit in that coconut oil and rub it between your two fingers and you're going to moisten the top of this wick with some of the fat or the oil that you're using. I'm going to go ahead and do that and if the dia comes out a little bit just tuck it back under and you want to make sure to moisten the top because if you leave it dry it's just going to burn and the dia is not going to burn for a long time. It's just going to burn for a few minutes and then it'll go out. And you want to make sure that there's enough oil. Uh, while you have the dia lit the oil might start to burn out so what you want to do is keep refilling it if you have it lit long enough. So after you've filled your dia with the oil that you're using and you've moistened the top of the wick with some of the oil with your two fingers, what you're going to want to do is obviously light the dia. Now if you wanted to you could use matches for this or if you have a dia already lit like I do right here, I'm going to go ahead and put it right to the side of it and I'm going to allow it to light the other dia. Now once you have your dia lit, you do not want to blow it out with your mouth. If you needed to out the fire, what you would do is take a fresh flower and put it over the fire and let the fire die out. But you're not supposed to blow it out with your mouth. So usually when you light a dia, you just let it burn out until the fire dies out by itself. Alright guys, it's as simple as that. Our dia is now lit. Now you can use this in whatever religious way that you want. You can use it for your puja, your wedding, you can use it for Diwali or other holidays. It really doesn't matter. The possibilities are endless. So I hope you guys enjoy this quick little instructional video today. I hope you guys have a great Diwali. And I hope you guys try this out if lighting dias is a little hard for you. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Give this video a nice big thumbs up. And make sure to comment down below and tell me what you guys would like to see next. Until next time guys. Bye.